Welcome to today's woodworking shop and uh, this is a jewelry box, pencil box, uh, thingamabob box, whatever you would like to use it for. Um, I made two of these, uh, one for each of my daughters. And then, uh, excuse me, sorry, it's kind of hot out here. And then uh, each one of these here that you see is a half inch by half inch poplar. Uh, the brown here is a half inch by half inch western red cedar and then here on the top is a you'll see here in just a minute when I open it up is a poplar strips and a eastern red cedar you can see the eastern red cedar here as it goes around I got brass hinges on the back and then uh, just open it up just like so I decided to put chains on it they're just a brass beaded chain in order to just kind of give the little little bit of support be something different and uh, I don't know it works you know yeah there's many things out there that I could have put on there instead uh, but I, I chose to go with this and then uh, here on the inside It has a, a tray, and then here on the inside it's got a couple of runners for the tray to sit on, so it's, it's actually raised up off the bottom. And then, uh, as you can see, I'll close it up and move it closer. See, as you can see, it's uh, poplar strips and uh, Eastern red cedar, and uh, when you open this thing up, it smells great. Um, I love the smell of cedar. And then, of course, I just did a. It's just a regular plywood bottom, quarter inch thick plywood bottom that I got uh, from Home Depot. Um, the sides flush up pretty well. So does the back. But if you notice, the front overhangs just a little bit which is actually the, uh, a one eighth thickness of cedar strip. It overhangs by that way you can actually get your finger underneath it in order to help lift it. Because uh, you really don't need a lift for it or anything. It's not that heavy of a, of a lid. And then of course I got felt so when you go to close it it's, it's a bit quiet. Yeah you can see that it's flush at the bottom here and it's open but that's that's because of the felt tips and uh, I thought it would be a nice little touch to so that way when when you close it it didn't just bang you know um, be loud noise you know but um, that's it as you can see the, the slide uh, the tray slides back and forth or you can take it out either or um, would I have done things differently yeah um, I probably would have only went with one bead of chain. Yeah, I can take one off, but then it leaves a hole in the lid, and everybody goes, why is that hole there? So, you know, 20, 20 hindsight. That way, you know, if there's only one bead of chain, you'd be able to get the tray out a lot easier, set it to the side, um, be able to use things, get in, get out, and then be able to put it back in. But that is my, my box that I made. And uh, hope you enjoy it. I had a lot of fun making this. Hope my girls get a lot of enjoyment out, out of it. Uh, my oldest one said that she's going to use it for her uh, art supplies. Um, but my youngest one don't know yet. Unless she sees this video. Then she'll know what she's getting. So there it is in a nutshell. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's pretty easy to make. And then, uh, probably as you heard, that's our resident eagles, or excuse me, hawks that we have here in the neighborhood. Um, but, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact me. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And uh, we'll see you next time.